tension increases as the seven top knitters in the land prepare their needles for combat. On this final judgment day, speed and accuracy in following eight separate patterns, each for 20 minutes, will produce a new national knit-off champion for 1971. Two rounds down and six to go. Right, now get on your mark. Get set. Go. Mrs Nazar, representing Western Australia with the controversial European technique, has been knitting since she was a little girl of nine in her native Bavaria. Top Tasmanian Mrs Newman keeps herself and her family in all knitted garments. She had an early start at the age of four. New South Wales wool knit-off champion Mrs Green has been knitting for over 50 years, with something on her needles all the time from ladies' dresses to men's cardigans for family and friends. Mrs Greenwood, knitting for Victoria, began her practice of the craft 40 years ago with two nails and a length of string. The fastest pair of needles in the Northern Territory, wielded by Mrs Smith of Alice Springs, a cardigan and jumper specialist. The hopes of South Australia are pinned on mother of three and grandmother of six, Mrs Glazebrook, visiting Sydney for the first time in her life. Mrs Rope entered the contest just for fun and with her dexterous continental style became Queensland champion. What can go wrong? You suddenly find you've got too many or too less stitches at the end of the pattern and you know you've thrown the whole thing out. How do you think you're going anyway? Oh, not too good. No. You're being a bit pessimistic, oh, no, aren't you? I've made mistakes. I mean, unforgivable mistakes. So I've just got to put up with it. Well, you must have done very well anyway to be your own state champion already yeah. and to be here in the first place. Might have been a fluke. <laughs> Mrs. Glazebrook, do you get very nervous in the competition like this? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> a bit jittery, you know. <laughs> My fingers sort of won't work quick enough. <laughs> well, with nervous tension, one tends to get a little bit clammy and it makes the wool sticky on the needles. This particular one is quite good, except there is a uh, mistake here. And each side edge is very cool, very mm -hmm. As completed samples come off the needles, they go to the judging panel, a strict but compassionate triumvirate, expert knitters all, representing the CWA, the wool board and Peyton's knitting wools. After three years experience on the bench, Miss M Tregoning can almost pick a winner by watching the contestants at work. You can uh, tell by the temperament of the woman just how she's knitting. Just uh, Temperament is one of the main things, really. Isn't knitting a bit old-fashioned today? No, knitting isn't old-fashioned. It's uh, more on the increase. And these knitting competitions that we hold have uh, certainly inspired a lot of people to uh, take up knitting again. Do you really like knitting? Oh, I love it. Yes, I do, really. I love it. But, uh, not under these circumstances, by any means. What sort of chance do you think you've got in the competition? Oh, well, <laughs> I haven't thought about it at all. I just try to do my best for the honour of Western Australia. And we're all just going hard at it and hoping for the best. Thank you.